What factors determine if a location is good or not? First of all, keep in mind that every business might have very different criteria what is a good location and what is a bad location. So a manufacturing business might have different criteria from an IT service provider or a movie theater. In general, um, mo most important factors are uh, proximity measures to the supply, supply of raw materials or labor. In addition, the proximity to our customers is also very important. Knowing the customers, if you have a retail store, it is important that you are close to your customers. If you are a service provider, for example, a medical doctor, um, you do not want to be too far away from your customers. And again, it's a very individual thing. If you are a very high level doctor who is very specialized, then she might be able to have an office, um, a clinic in a capital area where the people are willing to travel far distances. If it's more of a regular doctor, then people might not be willing to, to go these, over these distances. Depending on your business, the source of labor is very important. Um, this, on the one hand, depends on the qualification of the labor you need and also the price of labor. Yeah? Some businesses prefer very cheap labor and need to search for locations uh, that provide cheap labor. In that case, maybe having a, a location outside the city center is better because um, if you have a low salary, you will not be able to afford uh, living in a, in a very high class location in the city center. On the other hand, um, if you look at qualified labor, Mm, look at Silicon Valley, for example. Silicon Valley is also successful because many IT companies go there, many tech companies go there, and on the other hand, many well-educated people are also willing to move there because if they uh, maybe quit the job at one company, they can easily move to another company, though uh, this is a good location for tech companies because of the labor. There might be other things like community considerations. What about the neighbors? This is also something like uh, the Silicon Valley. You're in the community of other tech companies. Um, there might be specific site considerations. For example, if you have a manufacturing business, an oil refinery business, usually you need some permits to do the business. It's not allowed everywhere. Um, the site needs to be big enough, maybe you need room for future expansion possibilities, or this could be um, a factor under site consideration. Quality of life issues, um, it's again related to your workforce. Uh, can you offer a good quality of life to the people that work there? Let's uh, take Geotech as an example. Of course, when I joined Geotech, I knew it is in the capital area of Oman, though I expected, and this was also confirmed, that the quality of life is, of course, for me as an expert, um, much higher in the capital area than when I go to another more distant, um, more distant uh, city, where, for example, the level of English in the people that the people speak is lower. So, uh, quality of life is also again a factor that can attract qualified people. Other factors, um, for example, in a restaurant, do is this place big enough to offer parking? Can you offer parking for your customers? Uh, what are some costs in this area? Electricity, water, is are these things available? Um, so these are just some of the factors that are often relevant for most businesses and you can read more about these factors and the discussion of these factors in Raid and Sanders.
on page 325. When we are talking about locations of facilities, in particular um, in the manufacturing side, we also need to talk about globalization and in the context of our course, in the context of facility location, our understanding of globalization is that this is the process of locating facilities all around the world. Yeah, globalization started or was benefited from cheaper means of communication. Of course, the internet played a very big role in the 1950s, 1960s. You paid like uh, 10 reals per one minute from a, for a phone call from Europe to the United States. Of course, um, under these circumstances, when you need to brief your employees, it is very difficult to manage a business across several uh, countries and continents. But today, with video conferencing and email, communication is extremely cheap. Um, Although the mobility of people has drastically increased, the transportation costs have gone down significantly over the time, the trade barriers between countries have been reduced, this also uh, reduces the cost for people and cargo transportation, though many more things are now possible with respect to people mobility than, let's say, 50 years ago. If we organize our manufacturing all across the world, we have to deal with some, we can gain some advantages, but although there are some disadvantages. So, on the positive sides, we can sell our products to new markets. Now, we are not focused on our own country, on our country of origin. We can sell our products to new markets. Um, When we have a factory in a foreign country, maybe the customers in this country are, um, they lose biases against this product. You could see this behavior uh, with Japanese cars and their export to US. In the, as long as the cars, for example, Toyota, Nissan, Mitsubishi, were produced in Japan only, many US customers, not all, but many, were slightly against Japanese cars. Yeah. They wanted something that is manufactured locally, that supports the local workforce. And of course, when Toyota started having factories in the United States, they could reduce these biases. And therefore, they could also sell more cars. What is also important, that you become less dependent on foreign exchange rates. Yeah. For most countries, or for many countries, the exchange rates are, are flexible. In Oman, the real is packed to the US dollar, though for Omani businesses, with respect to doing business in the United States, there is not a big benefit because the exchange rate is fixed. The central bank tries to fix the exchange rate, which can be very costly. But this is not the case for other countries. For example, the euro does not have a fixed exchange rate to the US dollar. Though when a European uh, company is producing something in the United States, they need to pay their workers in US dollars. And um, this means they become less dependent and they can sell their cars in US dollars. So overall, this makes them less dependent on exchange rate fluctuations between dollar and, and euro. Sometimes you have access to cheaper labor as an advantage, but often this can also be a disadvantage because often there are cultural differences and sometimes when the work, when the price for labor is lower, um, the way the laborers work might also change and this is something that is sometimes overlooked. So I know of some IT projects in Germany where they try to uh, outsource a lot of, um, of the coding to Indian IT companies. Of course, they were much cheaper than doing it uh, in Europe 
but then there were many problems because on the one hand the quality of the code was not as expected, on the other hand um, the Indian guys did not fully understand the concepts um, from the German culture, though so it was about something like social security systems. This does not did not exist in Japan, though. Uh, sorry, in India. So um, there was a lot of confusion in these projects because of these cultural differences, and um, then it all required more time and more money because uh, it is not easy to overcome these cultural dis um, differences. Sometimes you expose yourself to political risks when you move to another country because the regulation is different, it might change uh, quicker than you're used to it. Um, it might also open yourself to uh, that you have to share your secret technology that you developed because now the product is developed in another country though it's more difficult to keep the secrets really secret um, people in the other country will learn about it there's a higher danger of industrial espionage for example though this might be another drawback of globalization <laughs>